Hello all. Thanks for joining. Back a few weeks ago, I posted a video. I wanted your input, your feedback on which radio I should restore next. So now it's time to disclose what you guys chose. So before I share that information, let's take a quick look at the three radios that we were entertaining. First up, this beautiful Ward's Airline radio. Second, a beautiful Glory Tone radio. And the third choice, Chant I Clear from the West Coast. Before disclosing the radio that we'll tackle next, I wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. It's probably no surprise for folks that have followed along and looked at the comments from the prior video. 80% of those that commented want to see the Chant I Clear radio restored next. So let's spend a few minutes taking a look at the radio cabinet and the chassis itself. So here's a little closer look at the cabinet. Not bad, you know, for a radio back from the 30s. You gotta love the dial, the bezel, and the dial plate. It's gorgeous. I love the horizontal grill work on the radio. And again, the two-tone colors on the top. I think it's going to make a beautiful piece once the restoration is complete. So here are a couple more photos again up close of the horizontal louvers or grill work. Again, they're broke. We'll have to fabricate new pieces there around the corners and then attach some new veneer. Should be straightforward. A quick look at the back side of the cabinet and the chassis. So now it's time to remove the chassis from the cabinet. So the first thing that I see when I remove the fasteners holding the chassis to the cabinet is a bunch of small seeds. In addition, as I start dragging the chassis out of the cabinet, there's a bunch of remnants with seed and insulation. So not only am I seeing the remnants of where a rodent has once lived, or at least a hope once lived, the smell is not very friendly as well. Man, the anticipation's building for me. I can't wait to flip this over. But before we do, a couple topside shots of the radio. What a mess. You guys picked a great one for me to restore for sure. Look at all the rust. This thing's in bad shape. But I think we can bring it back with some time and hard work. Okay, let's get this thing flipped over and take a look. Oh man, check this out. I've never seen such a mess in my life. I tell you, when I first flipped this thing over, I was concerned something was still underneath there and was going to run out toward me. Have you ever seen one this bad? I haven't. So before I started digging this stuff out so I could see what kind of damage was done, I threw some gloves on and a mask. I tell you, I think I needed a respirator. The smell was just horrible. Wow, I'm still amazed. I tell you, look at this. I've never seen so much crap underneath a radio chassis. Can't wait to get it out, see what kind of damage we've actually got to the components, the wiring, and all the above. Again, what a mess. I probably spent 30 minutes or more trying to get the bulk of the material from the underneath side of the chassis. Very time consuming, not a lot of fun either. A few more photos of the underneath side of the chassis with the bulk of the gross material removed. I tell you what, the damage really doesn't look that bad. I'm surprised. The nest was so big, it's like the rodent was just happy living there and not really eating a lot of the components away. Now again, I haven't done a deep dive yet, but just from a quick visual, it looks pretty clean. I appreciate you folks choosing this radio for me, and my wife's really happy about it as well. So here again, a few more photos of the top side. I'll probably have to strip all the components off of this one, all the way down to bare metal, removing all the wiring, all the components, and get this chassis de-rusted. So again, thanks for stopping by, checking out this Chant I Clear radio, which is next on the restoration list. Once I get the Silver Tone 4569 cabinet complete, hope you enjoyed the quick photos. Thanks again for all my new subscribers.